Um, you can find me on Instagram at uh, Queens of Hackney um, on Facebook as well and I hope to see you soon. Hi, good evening. My name is Udo Akirodem and I am a love doula. I really enjoyed myself on the Asia FBO Jones show. Um, connect with me on my Instagram Udoak Udo or my website Udoak uk in and latching on in those things and um, you know we we have some comments on Instagram and um, uh, Kayla if you don't mind me asking are you are you with you got your partner are you, did you did you engage um, did you engage your partner in any way with the breastfeeding with the baby well, it was very much a joint decision okay all of these things were discussed together he was he very much wanted me to breastfeed Okay. Um, well, how so did you engage just, him? How did you? Because we have a question on Instagram. Come, I used to yeah. come. Yeah. And he would bottle feed the baby because he also wanted that and wanted time yes. as well. So I used to express so he could have his time with yes. the little ones as well. Yeah. Um, but he would go out and purchase all the all the types of foods that I needed to help me produce the quality milk. He was very supportive at that time. Yes. You know, it's funny you should say that because that's how. I felt like I needed to, you know, in my, mentally I was lifting weights when it came to getting, you know, because there was all the, my sister never breastfed for that long. My mom never breastfed for that long. So it was almost like, oh, don't worry too much. If you can't breastfeed, it's okay. You probably, exactly, if yeah. you do too much, it's yeah. all right. And I'm like, excuse me, your story is not my story. <laughs> I'm going to breastfeed. So when somebody told me, oh, Guinness, Guinness, um, Guinness and Supermod. Yep, yeah, yes, I was on it. Yes. And then they told me pepper soup. I was like, yes, I was on it, you know. And then um, for those of you in Nigerian pap, you know pap, oogie. No, I don't know pap. Oh right, okay, so yeah. It's carbohydrates, isn't it? Um, so it's made from corn. Yeah, it's, it's corn. corn. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, and um, so I was on. I was really. I didn't care. And then I went. And then I found this thing from Holland and Barrett's called. Uh, Fenugreen, fenugreen, or something fenugreek. like that. Yes, that's the yeah. one. And I mean, I don't know which one worked, but I did all of them, you know, because I was like, yeah, I did all the massaging, I did all of it, because I was like, you're not stopping for a while until I want you to stop, <laughs> you know. And, um, you know, and so, and I found that it helped with weight loss as well, you know, yeah. it kind of like, you could kind of cheat a little bit and eat a bit more calories and yeah, and stuff course. like that and it could and it would come off and, and stuff so um so I was gonna ask you Gloria how do you think um people do you have any suggestions on how um people can engage fathers more with breastfeeding? I think um, I think just letting them know what's behind it. Like I said, get them involved by telling them what you need to be eating. Mm. Get them to go to the shops and buy these ingredients. Let them have an understanding that um, you need those extra calories, and that, and, but you still need to be eating healthily at the same time. Yes. Get them to support you that way. Mm. Get, express if you can. Get them to get them to feedback to take to give you some time and to mm. just take that pressure off and allow them to have that bonding time. You know, because it's just as important for them to bond with babies as it is for us. You know, because they're half of them too. Yeah. And also, it takes the pressure off mum, who's constantly, constantly with baby around that skin to skin interaction with everything yeah. else. And yeah, it just ease mum's stress a little bit. Okay, cool. Well, thank you uh, so much for calling and sharing that story with us. I think that was actually a good story to share because, again, that was a situation where the baby's mouth was too small. You know, yeah. and who would have thought that? You know, it's not something exactly. you think about. You would think, oh, yeah. my baby doesn't. You can even think your baby doesn't like you. Do you know that? No, it's true. You can think yeah. your baby doesn't really like you and is not responding to you. So, yeah. that, thank you so much for sharing. That. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. 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 So, um, Gloria, yeah, is there? Do you have any suggestions as to other ways? Uh, possibly that men can um, enjoy in this experience being a father um, and yeah yeah I think I agree um, with Kyla um, absolutely like when I as soon as I could 
express some milk. I was giving my nipples a little bit of a break <laughs> because in the very beginning uh, it's tough. I mean, it's a part of your body that is not as used to, you know, be sucked alive for so long. Yeah. <laughs> um, and inevitably, in my case, I had cracked nipples, so I had bleeding yeah. as well. So. I need to have a rest from breastfeeding, although my baby needed milk like all the time. Uh, so I was um, actually expressing with my Medela <laughs> brand new um, pump, and um, Dad was super happy to just um, feed the baby uh, with the bottle. So that was their bonding time for sure. Um, and then, yeah, I think the, the role, the best role that a dad can. And, and, partner can have in this situation is to really support this relationship um, and um, as well you know go yeah. and buy food <laughs> and uh, feed, feed us properly because yes. yeah we need um, good food nutrition to make good yes. nutrition mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah. To good milk. yeah. Um, would you like you wanted to add to that? I mean yes definitely a lot of the challenges that women do experience with, with breastfeeding is the, one of the is latching on definitely and just also the recovery period and also just them feeling comfortable with their bodies also a lot of women may not feel comfortable about breastfeeding based on a cultural um, lack of knowledge as to the benefit of breastfeeding both baby and mother and another thing is also just definitely their diets you know a lot of women I experienced myself I'm not much of an eater generally before motherhood, so it was really challenging learning to eat as much as I needed to to feed and to provide, you know, provide that milk flow. And you know, I think a lot of women may experience didn't really expect the the amount of effort that's needed and mm. the amount of time that's needed um, to really connect with their babies, and they feel like the breast the bottle feeding, which is not I'm not saying it's a pro and con but just the different dynamics of when you bottle food and breastfeed your baby are completely different you know um, in terms of effort so yeah breastfeeding is such a wonderful experience um, and we were talking earlier about breastfeeding you know the different stages of breastfeeding and from a toddler from a baby to a toddler you know my daughter is four and you know still has that attachment and bonding with you know breastfeeding or she's not breastfeeding but just attachment to the the breast mm. and just letting people understand or understanding the language as to why why that is still very much needed and why you know it's okay you know mm. it's okay you know like you were saying Asia you know a lot of families feel I think sometimes it's like when they they feel that when the baby has developed the teeth it's walking, it's a human being. Yeah. So they don't need to be independent. They can't touch the breast. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. Well, yes. You know, why you know, and other parents also mothers do feel that the, the challenges of breastfeeding a baby yes. you know, a toddler with teeth, you know. But, uh, can we just say that they can bite <laughs> very yeah. 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 also with just the gums? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh very gosh, painful, yeah. So. But or if they fall fall asleep on it. Yeah. And have to detach. But age the babies or the toddlers are and it's just it's really about helping them it's education education and knowing the real benefits of breastfeeding it's not just about milk it's about bonding and it helps you engage in knowing when your child is ill you know i find that was really a good cue for me to know when my daughter is just not really herself and needs that comfort and it's really it was a magic <laughs> you know magic place for her to feel better and get well. Can I say that they cry much less yes. so you have like um, you feel much better because you yeah. Yeah. obviously it makes you feel anxious when your baby cries so it just it just soothes them so yeah. well yeah. that it just makes your life easier. Yeah, and you use their scalpel. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people feel like that you're spoiling them, the term spoiling your baby. Yeah. You know, it's it's actually. I think it's appropriate. Opposite. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it's appropriate. Like you're just um, you're just listening to their needs. Yes, mm -hmm. that's what it is. It's yes. not spoiling them. Spoiling them is afterwards when yeah. you start buying them whatever they want. Yes, but yes. In terms of um, feelings and like taking that's care of them emotionally. Emotionally, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it's gonna make them 
much more like some comments that I get right now when someone sees my daughter is that oh my gosh she's so confident yeah she looks so much older she's so like developed like and also her speech like yeah. is, um I'm not saying that who's boxed fed it's not yes you know, absolutely yeah but um it's the bonding it's the bonding I think yeah. like my daughter always knows that I'm there giving her what she needs whenever yeah. she needs that so yeah. she's not scared she's not, not making afraid. it feel like it's doing something wrong yeah. or yeah. they're doing something she's wrong she's not afraid yeah. of exploring the world yeah. or making any experience and I, I can tell like I can tell she's so confident and I trust she will be and people forget that we actually are mammals. This is part of our natural development of how we look after our babies. Yeah. We breastfeed our babies until they are comfortable and confident to step out into the world and be independent. It's not really, um, that is the natural progression, but society does see the breast as a sexualized object. Yeah. You know, so when people look at you breastfeeding thinking that's really disgusting, why yeah. is it disgusting? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just really their com discomfort yes. about it. It's which they are it's portraying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Watching, it's really yeah. their discomfort and um, lack of experience or just lack of understanding. Yeah. So it's really just about um, helping, yeah, like you said, being very confident in, but in also, that space. Can I just add that in a practical way, it made my life so much easier. First of all, in the me. night, <laughs> I didn't really have to wake up mm -hmm. and go to the kitchen, warm up a bottle, mix the things. Like, I don't even know how to do it mm -hmm. right now. So mm -hmm. I would just lie down, um, get my baby closer to me. So also called sleeping is really mm -hmm. helpful, whether it's in the cot or mm -hmm. the same bed. Um, and then also breastfeeding my daughter didn't stop me catching up with my friends so i would just yes. wear my baby in the um, in the wrap and if needed i would just take out a book for give it to her and i kept just walking watching mm -hmm. my uh, exhibition at the museum literally my life just kept going like so much in such an easier way because i didn't have to stay at home and make sure that I was feeding my daughter properly. It was just on the go. For me, it was just... Obviously, it didn't come the first two, three months. It was later on, when she was like three, four months, I started to get more confident about the whole thing. Also, so, I want to... Sorry, I want to come to some questions and some comments. I've got a lot of questions, a lot of comments on Instagram and um, some questions as well. But before I do that, I just want to say shout out to all the dads, you know? All the dads that support breastfeeding, that you don't rush the process, you know, and you just let the baby and mom have that time. And those who still try to look for a way to be a part of that experience and part of that journey. So a uh, big shout out to you. And also I have to say a big one to places who um, make room for breastfeeding. Okay. Um, one of the companies, and I'll actually say the company, GSK, Glasgow Smith & Klein, very, very good. They've got a breastfeeding room for mothers. So mothers have gone back to work or breastfeeding. They've got a room you can go to breastfeed, put your milk in there, and then take it, take it home. Um, and so I think shout out to them for doing that. And also to a lot of centers, you've got like mother care has got breastfeeding. Uh, in most mother cares, you have a best breastfeeding area where you can, yes, where you can feel comfortable. And I think you breastfeed anywhere, but I think for those who still are self-conscious, if you're self-conscious because you're just self-conscious, that's fine. Or for, um, I don't know, modest reasons, you want to do it more in a private, then you've got places like that. Um, and there are a lot more places are making room for breastfeeding. And they're making it... Um, uh, and it, they're they're making family rooms where areas uh, Westfield, Westfield has it a lot, um, and most big um, shopping complex have them. So I think um, well done, and I think shout out to people who feel who make the time to you know they're not doing budget cuts and thinking it's not important, and they're just doing stuff like that. Um, comments. So let me just go to the comments first. So uh, some of the comments are yeah, just people agreeing saying that. Breastfeeding is not just, um, it's for the children. The children are indifferent. They don't know what a breast is. They just really, just, it's for comfort uh, a lot of time for them. So uh, people just saying that. Sorry. And then what else? Ooh, that went wrong, didn't it? Okay, so, yeah, about comfort. 
women in other parts of the world just put uh, baby on the breast. They don't call it breastfeeding. <laughs> They're, um, this side of the world labels everything because of that we struggle. Um, because it becomes a science instead of being natural. Yes, it's true. We become a bit too prim and proper with it. And as women, we have lost the understanding of psychology of our body. Somebody said it's like custard. I don't know what that means. I don't know what's like custard. Um, so somebody said, I teach women about breastfeeding uh, first before putting baby onto the breast. Good. Uh, yeah, so uh, this I think this is coming from, we want to enjoy the bonding experience too. So this is from men saying they want to enjoy the bonding experience as well. Yeah, so fathers can help, but their role more is to be a comfort there. I totally agree. You know, just get me the remote, get me the water. So I'm drinking the water. <laughs> just, yeah, support me through that. And that's really like, yeah, so a very, a men's role in there is very supportive. This one I find it very true. Like, yeah. men can help putting the baby to sleep or yes. when there are like yes. colleagues and things like that. Yes. I was just too tired to yes. just rocking the baby yes. even, yeah. you know, more. Yeah, I expressed that a lot. was a lifesaver for me to yeah. have the dad just yes. taking care of that part and calming the baby yeah. down. I expressed a lot so that um, my husband was able to take part mm -hmm. in that as well because um he was able to be part of that so somebody just said yes uh Udwa, I totally agree with uh the sexualization of the breast so also yeah. one thing is really important about breastfeeding is really the actual purpose of breastfeeding and how it benefits the baby the colonization of the baby's digestion mm -hmm. you know breastfeeding um it actually starts in the, in the womb of the of the mother that mm -hmm. the development of the baby's digestion is, is built then and then it goes through in the stages of when the baby is born through the vaginal canal, um, canal mm -hmm. that the, the, the mother's um, microbeam through that space also helps stop building the baby's digestion and also lastly in the breastfeeding um, process, the bonding and the milk it starts to also help build the baby's digestion and we know that digestion is, is such an important factor mm -hmm. in our living existence based on our hormones, our health and well-being. So breastfeeding has many benefits, um, not in comparison to bottle feeding, you know, but that there, there is a place and need for it. But I definitely want to just also let people know that breast, if you can breastfeed, do breastfeed and if you can um, breastfeed for long periods of time do because the benefits for your baby far exceeds them beyond for two the years old for, well. for the adult life definitely yeah. so breastfeeding has such health benefits in terms of building a very strong foundation for your child's um, life and definitely if they may have challenges um, with you know digestion with antibiotics you know uh, a baby born by c-section doesn't get that whole process of colonization through the mother's um, mm. um, vaginal can canal unlike a mother who a baby who was born in that method so there are different um, processes and you will see as the baby grows the challenges that they may have so you know I definitely want to just encourage women if you can breastfeed do and if you don't have the um and if you like to know more about breastfeeding while you're pregnant ask questions ask your midwives about questions as to where they you can find a lactation consultant um ask your healthcare visitor about ab about that your your birthing centers sorry your community centers about classes be really informed about the benefits of breastfeeding and how to breastfeed and the challenges that you may experience and also definitely the food you know how to really nurture yourself different cultures have different foods like you were talking about you know there's different herbs that help increase milk flow as well as decrease the milk flow so it's really important to know what you're eating and you know what you know what you're eating to help promote that or decrease that for example sage helps dry up your milk you know, herbs like raspberry, nettle and fenugreek help increase your milk flow. You know, so really have a really good understanding about
breastfeeding, um, the structure, you know, the benefits for the mother as well. What are the benefits for the mother yes. as well? Yes. Yeah. Which are? Um, yeah. Sorry, you were saying about benefits for the mother. Mm -hmm. So yeah. obviously, also breast cancer. Yeah. Uterus, ca uterus cancer, like all these problems related uh, to that, they just decrease the probability mm -hmm. to to get affected by these diseases in the long term. So I don't think we're also talking up enough no. uh, about that. And yeah. I think we should have like more awareness yeah. campaigns. I in think this motherhood regards. is really important to know the benefits of how we need to look after ourselves in order to look after our children and look after our families. So, you know, taking that time out to really explore how you can have a healthy pregnancy, a healthy, um, you know, postpartum, which really is about two years in, in length, is really, really essential for, for mother and baby and the family. Yeah. So, um, just... Um so we're coming right up to the news in about 10 minutes. Um, so we've got 10 minutes left to, to wrap up. And the time does go so fast when you're having fun. Um, and um, we have... Um, so I've got one question from Facebook that I just want to post to you. So how long do you think you should breastfeed? I think you've kind of answered it, but I want you to cover it again. How long do you think one should breastfeed for? How old? So what age? So th there's no age, there's no limit. It's like everyone can decide for themselves. So like they have, mm -hmm. like every child is different, every family situation is different. Um, we should just do whatever we feel we can do, really, and we shouldn't be put off by oh, I couldn't breastfeed more than six months. Yeah. You know, rubbish mother, no. Like yes. um, absolutely, just feel free to do whatever you feel is right for you, and. Yeah, it's different for everyone, so I can't say until when. <laughs> and then, um, sorry, quickly, you want to? Say I was going to say for me, I stopped around two and a half, three. So, and you know that the difference between stopping breastfeeding for an older, for a toddler, is completely different to stopping. You know, there's dialogue, there's dialogue and communication, building that kind of preparation for the child is really important. Um, when to stop is when you feel ready, when you feel ready to kind of step forward and really uh, make that detachment um, in a healthy way. So yeah, definitely when to stop is really up to the, between the you mother. and the, and the, and the, and the okay. child. Yes. So, yes, so there you have it, when, you know, stop when you feel like it, basically. Um, I know that's what I'm going to be doing, <laughs> you know, because if it gives my child comfort, it's the only, yeah, it's the only child I've away. got, you know, yeah. what else am I doing with my time? Um, so just to read some more of the comments, um, great that there are places for people to, to accommodate, uh, that accommodate mothers breastfeeding, that's great. Um, then, oh, so the comment about custard, it's like custard was when I said about pap, so somebody was okay. in, so the consistency is like custard, it doesn't necessarily taste like custard, but the consistency is a bit like when you make, yeah. um, okay. custard, um, I probably know it differently from my region of Yes, Nigeria. yes, you, yeah, you definitely would have seen it come wrong, but yes, that's supposed to help, it's water, very water based. So, um, very important is to drink a lot, yeah, like, yeah, so yeah, and it does help, especially. I found when I had my son, my appetite didn't come back straight away like that because mm -hmm. I didn't have much of an appetite, you know, which is the best thing that happened to I me. I mean, five good foods, millet is a really good food, mm -hmm. even you can, uh, you can even actually milk it down for when you're weaning your baby. Um, quinoa is another good grain, you know, carbohydrates are really, really essential as well as proteins, but the, also the herbs, things. herbs are really, really important to include in your diet. So we're going to be, because we're fast running out of time, so we're going to have some, uh, we're going to let you know where you can get access information um, uh, from. Um, uh, we, this video is going to be available on YouTube probably in about... Yeah, in, in about a week or so. So you'll be able to get more um, information for those of you following. So just to take some of the comments before we round up. Um, so someone said a lot of health uh, care providers, um, other than breastfeeding uh, consultants, midwives were not taught about this. Midwives are not taught. So I think they're saying that midwives are not taught about this. I agree. That's totally true. Only pregnancy, labor, and birth. Yeah. Um, they, unless they've been through breastfeeding. 
it's almost like they can't advise you about it. So I agree. Gloria, you're an amazing mom and I love you. That's for you, Gloria. Healthcare providers are not trained for this. Yes, true. But they should, so, well, yeah. I wanted to say they should be trained, but how do you train them? So I don't know. But yeah, so those those are the comments. Thank you so much for all your comments, um, uh, for staying on the line with us. Please continue to stay with us. Um, Gloria, so the initiative you ran, uh, uh, am I going to get an invite to your next one? When are you doing course, it? I think you should just do one. Year. Don't wait for me. Next year, that's well, too long. Well, we I want to be breastfeeding by then. Unless well, I have another let's baby. See, exactly. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, I think um, it is very, very beneficial to meet up with other mums in general. I think that also having a network of mums that have yes. babies of your same age, yes. it helped me so much. Um, Amelia is one of them and she's following us. Yeah. Me, so. <laughs> and um, it's just make you feel like so much stronger that you can just get through everything and just sharing um, experiences mm -hmm. it's just gonna lift so much weight mm -hmm. off your shoulders so um, I think yeah networks of mums also can can help us so definitely we can meet and Absol uh, absolutely. share more because absolutely so um, Gloria can be contacted um, you can reach Gloria through Queens of, of Hackney, Hackney on Instagram and um, so for those of you who might need that little bit of advice and support, I definitely am tapping into Gloria because it was Gloria and Uduak just talking to them and engaging with them that gave me the confidence to not um, feel shamed by the fact that I was still breastfeeding. So I appreciate you two uh, for that. So Uduak, so birth jewelers, how do we access you? Um, I am available on a fantastic organization. Um, organization by the lady of Mars Lord she has a website for doulas of color called Abuela doulas I'm also on my website is www.udoac.co.uk which is spelled U-D-U-A-K um, you can ask me access me on social media Instagram which is Udoac U um, my Facebook is Udoac as well just my name yeah. you know um, I'm just specializing in Doula and massage. So yes, Abuela Doulas, Doula UK, these are the main areas where you can look for a doula. Okay, and so um, for all, everything we've talked about and to be able to reach, um, if you didn't catch that information, like I said, the video is going to be available on my YouTube channel in about a week on Asia F. Young Jones TV. Um, so you'll be able to watch this full um, uh, recording um, on there. Also, I will be um, posting, so... Um, details on how to contact Gloria and Uduak uh, for their services or their support or their advice so you'll be able to um, totally um, reach out to them so I'll send that information um, through to you also um, what else what else oh somebody's doing shout out okay yes to um, shout out to Asia that's myself and Sababu films yes so yeah she's in the house so she's waving so Thank you all for joining. Thank you um, uh, for supporting um, through today's show. Uh, and please keep sharing your stories. Keep sharing. Uh, keep supporting one another through this journey. Fathers, we appreciate you. Men, we appreciate you. When you see a woman maybe out and she's breastfeeding and, you know, we just appreciate the fact that she's not made, made to feel uncomfortable. And we just um, thank you all for all your support and all your love and um, on this journey. And um, so, like I said, I'll be sharing in my bio information on how to access a breastfeeding support, how to do less service, how to access my two guests who came on, Gloria and Uduak. Thank you so much. Thank I you. really totally appreciate you for uh, joining. And um, yes, it was great. Now, next week I'll be back with more hot topics, hot, hot, hot topics of the press. So I need you guys to join me. You know, um, we'll be talking, we'll actually be talking, we'll be freestyling, so we'll be talking about anything and everything that comes up. So feel free, if you want to tell me more breastfeeding stories, happy to hear it and, and stuff. So we'll be, you know, I'm happy to take questions on, on anything and, and stuff. Or, yeah, just come and hang with me and let's kick back and listen to some music. So I'll be on uh, 6 p.m. next Thursday. 
Um, right after me now will be more to men, so stay tuned for that show. In the meantime, between now and then, you can follow me on Asia Evian Jones at my um, on Instagram and Asia Evian Jones on Facebook and my YouTube. There's quite a few stuff on my YouTube at the moment, so please do go there and subscribe to see the shows you've missed. And um, so it's Asia Evian Jones TV. See the shows you've missed and like and leave your comments. Let me know what more you want to see. What more you want to hear about what is it that you like so till then people till next week um stay blessed enjoy the weather enjoy the bank holiday be good keep breastfeeding those of you are breastfeeding don't let anybody shame you from breastfeeding you know and Definitely look into those of you who are preparing to give birth and um, uh, get in a doula service. Okay, and yeah. Well done. Yes.